Hey everybody, uh, Brian here again from quantlabs.net. Uh, this comment came up on my uh, Telegram group today, and I'm just pumping out so many podcasts and videos about this. I just thought I'd add this because I just do that. Anyways, um, the message was, can't see a need for AI in trading myself. All the necessary info is in the charts. It's all hype as far as I'm concerned. Or people don't know what they're doing. And let me tell you, um, I'm going to put that in bold because it's so true. But that's just my perspective and I appreciate this will be a controversial one. As for me and controversy, I don't really care. It's my opinion. Some may agree, some may not. And that's fine. Here's how I look at it over the last 10 years, let's say, studying automated trading in quant and all that um, in high frequency trading. Everything when it comes to software development now and computer industry is all hype. Uh, 10 years ago, it was big or even five years ago, it was big data. Uh, also, there's these algorithm. Um, what do you call it? The uh, genetic algorithms and all this stuff was big. And now it's machine learning. Now it's crypto uh, cryptocurrency and and uh, AI so these are all new and they're rapidly changing everything in the world of quant finance and whatever but I'll just address this for now AI and machine learning there's a lot of people if you guys remember the London quant who studied robotics who knew everything about understanding how machines work machines work I'll put in quotes um, it's all programmed. Everything's all programmed, and there's a saying: the, the software, the program is only as smart as the, the 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 programmer that creates it. And now there's deep learning, and there's all this stuff, and and I think there is an advancement in this, and it's very huge. But the thing is, is that um, the key behind it all is that um, in the world of computer technology uh, and and AI. Everything's changing so rapidly, um, but when it comes to applications of AI or machine learning, the two hardest ones I've never figured out was linguistics and capital markets, which is very true. They could probably apply machine learning to all the other industries and all the other types of applications, but I do think that capital markets is probably one of the most difficult ones, and they still haven't figured it out. I'm sure they figured it out. They're just not talking about it. The real well-off people, maybe even Rentech, Renaissance Technologies, and maybe somebody else. Who knows? Who cares? But the statement about people don't know what they're doing. You get a lot of these boot camps. You get a lot of these uh, uh, free resources like, I don't know, uh, the iTunes store or Udemy or whatever. All these free places to learn how to do Python programming, how to do machine learning, how to do uh, all that. It's wrong. I mean, it's just you. You just download a free course, and all of a sudden, you're you're a fully qualified person that knows and fully understands machine learning or understands um, uh, programming just because you know how to study and train something. Blah 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 blah. I think that's a bunch of hogwash because there is so much depth and the numbers game that goes into the underlying things that make machine learning work is algorithms and it's mathematics, and you have to have a clear Full appreciation of the mathematics. There's a chart I put up um, <clears throat> years ago, uh, on last week, and the amount of math, it was like a, a page, and it was just an incredible amount of data that you'd have to learn that pushes and makes all this stuff, AI and machine learning, work. And most people are so lazy that they just look at the numbers. They don't care if the numbers mean anything, if they're properly vetted if they are actually correct, but they think they are, and they trick themselves to thinking, yeah, this is all profitable, and it ain't. I struggle with this stuff as well, because I'm pretty weak in math, and when I develop my little so-called algos, I don't know if it's correct or not. So these statements are so true, and, and it can easily be applied to the world of machine learning. The only reason these are big is because it's a hype, and it's so big, and that's that, but you really got to understand how to understand what goes on under the hood of a car. You've got to know how that machine or the engine works to really appreciate and understand what makes it tick. Not just the results, because the results mean crap. You can have um, prod, uh, GitHub packages and stuff, and you think they're valid, what they pump out in terms of mathematical results. They most likely aren't. Um, and you can't rely on that. And then when you implement it in a live training environment, it blows up. Well, gee, I wonder why. Because you're using packages or other libraries and frameworks that may not actually work. 
So it's very important to understand that. Number two, what's my opinion on cryptocurrency and Bitcoin? Now, just like Bitcoin, or sorry, my attitude towards Python and the hype of it, I couldn't get it. Now I use Python a couple of years later, and I use it as my primary language, and I understand why Python's big. Um, now, if you ask me about Bitcoin and cryptocurrency, why uh, the hype? I believe in it. Uh, will it crash? Mm, it may be. Uh, but I do believe the technology behind it, the reasoning why it exists, is very 